As a global community, we need more science and nature in our lives. We need that more than we ever have. We're facing major environmental challenges. We're facing a climate crisis. We're facing an extinction crisis. There's widespread habitat loss and degradation. And these are issues that are affecting other species, yes. But they're also issues that are directly affecting human health and human well-being. We need to find a way to engage people in these issues. And it's hard to do that when people are getting inundated with bad news every day. We all have a finite capacity for dealing with that. It's human nature at some point to just shut down and feel like nothing's getting any better and I can't do anything about it. But that's not true. There are people in the world that are making a difference. There are ideas and technologies in the world that are making headway in solving some of these problems. And we're really convinced that if we can inspire a deep passion and appreciation for nature, if we can share the solutions that offer hope for a better future, those are the things that can inspire people to engage in discussion about this again and to engage in solutions around these things again. So in 2016, we launched Biographic as an independent multimedia magazine that could do just that. We're not just presenting the information. We're working to paint really three-dimensional portraits of the people involved in this work to take people on a very visual journey to places in the world that they might not otherwise ever get to see. Down to the bottom of the ocean, up to the top of one of the tallest trees in the world. Everyone processes information in different ways and connects to information in different ways. So by weaving together a story that combines a deeply reported narrative, with beautiful images, with video that really takes people on a journey, we're trying to create as many different avenues to draw people into a story and help it stick as possible. There's a large body of research to support the power of solutions-based journalism. We know that when people read solutions-focused stories, they're more likely to talk about it with their friends and family, and they're actually even more likely to engage with the issue by getting personally involved. We also know that these kinds of stories that put forward solutions are more likely to help affect change in the world. They're more likely to get discussed and used by policymakers. They're more likely to get used in campaigns to activate change. And we've seen examples of that in our own work. We know that readers engage with these stories, that policymakers engage with these stories. When we first launched Biographic three years ago, we believed that this could work. We believed in the impact that these stories could make. And now we've seen it, and we're committed to continuing to tell these stories into the future. We need to give people hope and reasons to engage. That is, the first step to starting to turn around some of the major environmental crises that we're facing today. And that's something we've seen the power of in our storytelling at Biographic.